yeah so this is about the joint like we already seen what are the uh, what is exactly the function of the joint in our body now we're going to see the classification of the joints as you uh, told right so there is a classification of the joint like two type of classification is there one is called as a structural classification another one is a functional classification okay structural in the sense based upon their uh, anatomical things like what are the things present inside them and if they are having cavity or not okay which type of tissue through which they are made uh, made okay like which type of connective tissue they are uh, that are present and which are used to bind the bones together so that are the structural classification criteria and the functional classification criteria is whether they are able to move or not if they are able to move the how much they are able to move because there are some types of joints are there which are slightly movable some are immovable and few joints are there means there are so many joints are there which are able to move freely okay so that type of the classification is also there that called as a functional classification so we'll talk about first of all structural classification so in the structural classification you can able to see three different types are there one is called as a fibrous joint another one is called as a cartilaginous joint and third one is called as a synovial joint okay so uh, that based upon the cavity the first criteria whether there is a cavity or not in between the uh, articulation of the bone like between two bones if there is a cavity it is called as a synovial cavity okay and the two types are there which are called as a fibrous joint and cartilaginous joint they are not having any kind of synovial cavity and the material which are holding two bones together that is also different in between the fibrous and cartilaginous okay so what are the things are there in the fibrous fibrous joints you can able to see fibers are there so mainly which fibers collagen fibers are there and they are made up of dense kind of the uh, fibers okay means that whole connective tissue is a dense one and irregular one similarly you can see cartilaginous joint again they are made up of cartilage okay so these are the two types are there and apart from that third one is there which present in many numbers in our body which are called as the synovial joint you will get few examples for the fibrous and cartilaginous but there are so many examples for synovial joint okay so you can see that uh, synovial has cavity which is called as a synovial cavity okay in between the bones will able to fi find such a cavity example you know about shoulder bone hip bone okay so there is a cavity so, uh, this cavity with this cavity they are having some connective tissue like they are called th that are the dense irregular connective tissue okay there is one articular capsule we'll going to study in detail about the synovial joint what is the structure of the synovial joint that time you will get to know about what are this articular capsule okay what are the different structures are there in the synovial joint even there are some accessory ligaments are also there okay which are holding this uh, whole structure together so these type of a structural classification present in our body the next type of classification is functional classification okay so in the functional classification again three types are there so that based upon the movement okay if there is a uh, joint in between but after joining that two bone whether they are able to move or not so if they are able to move how much like you can see uh, what are the names of that synarthrosis okay that is a immovable joint you know any immovable joint in our body skull yes okay so skull is also made up of different different bones and that yes. comes yes. together okay and that comes together and forming a whole cranial cavity okay so that is immovable joint another amphitrosis okay so that is slightly movable joint example you know about that slightly movable in our body no sir okay so uh, you know that there is a connection between tibia and fibula yes okay so that yes. not move that much okay slight movement that happens over there 
even like uh, uh, like in our hands also intercarpillar bones are there okay that are also moving slightly not that much move, movement is there okay and the type is diathrosis diathrosis means a freely movable joint like the synovial joint okay all synovial all uh, synovial joints are almost synovial okay and these present at the different location so you will able to see different variety of shape of this synovial joint and uh, you will able to see different kind of movement we are going to study about the movement also like uh, what are the different synovial mo joint movements are there so you will able to see uh, due to this joint there are some different kinds of movement also uh, possible so now we're going to see in detail about each one quickly so first one is a fibrous joint so in the fibrous joint there is a lack of synovial cavity okay and the bones held together by the dense irregular connective tissue that we already seen okay there is a no movement in the fibrous joint and uh, like there are three types of this uh, fibrous joint you can see suture syndemomes okay and the in introosseous membrane so these are the three types are there we'll going to see in detail about these three types so first one you can able to see suture okay are you able to locate the suture coronal suture is there okay so this also made up of the dense irregular connective tissue they are very thin uh, not thick as well as they are present only in the skull okay so skull is also made up of different different kinds of bones that come together and that uh, are forming the skull so you can see here there is a line in between the these particular cranial bones okay so this line is called as a suture and in between that suture okay this ligament is present or we can call as a this connective tissue is present which are holding this uh, different halves together and these bones are irregular in shape if you will see here not uh, a particular shape is there okay they are very irregular but they are in properly interlocked because of the suture okay this suture is forming such a interlocking mechanism and because of that what we are getting we are getting a proper shape of the cranium okay and they are adding the strength also and they are also uh, decreasing the chances of fracture are having uh, tight connection in between them so because of that there is no such a uh, fracture kind of uh, things happen in the skull even you can see during the development there are so many sutures which are present on our skin skull but as we grow on that suture get converted into the bones okay so that particular uh, process is called as a syndosis okay synostosis sorry synostosis that process where exactly this you can able to see this blue color line that blue color line will get converted into bones and because of that you are not able to see uh, like there is a line kind of things on the skull and this is not two or three bones are coming together there are so many halves come together and they are forming a skull but later on during the adult age these whole things get like a a uh, similar surface because of such a process like this suture get converted into the bones and that process is called as a synostosis okay so uh, that occurs at the adult age if you will going to see the child okay and like as we know we uh, while we are child our skull size is uh, smaller but later on it be get become more bigger right so why these things are happening these sutures are providing the space for growth of the uh, these bones so because of that you are able to see bachpan mein hamare skull ka size chota hota hai jaise hum log bade hote jate hai our skull will also get grown okay so that is what the uh, they are allowing the bones to grow because of these kind of uh, features in the childhood but later on these whole sutures again get uh, entered into the these bones because of the process which is called as a synostosis okay so this is all about the suture and they are immovable next we'll going to see about the next type of fibrous joint which is called as a syndomosis okay that is also fibrous joint you can see where they are present they are present between the tibia and the fibula okay you are able to see the 
here not this one okay not this one we are talking about the this one anterior tibio fibular ligament okay so we are talking about that one so <clears throat> what they are doing they are uh, connecting two bones which are space at the longer distance okay means not exactly two closer like that are in the skull but these are the little bit uh, away from each other but they are joining together okay and they are also consist of the irregular connective tissue okay and uh, more in number as compared to that of the suture and uh, this particular uh, type of when they are forming a bundle connective tissue comes together and form a bundles they are called as a ligaments okay you are able to see here anterior tibio tibio fibular ligament okay so what are these ligament ligaments are nothing but a bundle okay bundle of the connective tissue okay and they are holding these two bones together and they are allowing only limited movement of these particular two bones okay while we are moving only limited movement can occur so they comes under the class that is called as a amphitrosis okay so there are other bones are also there in our body uh, which also get connected uh, in the same fashion another type of uh, example is this one you can see is called as a a uh, gomphosis okay the same same category it is but these are called as a gomphosis okay so what is this gomphosis that mainly occurs in our uh, mouth cavity okay that is you can see here two things are there root of teeth and the uh, one ligament is there uh, periodontal ligament this ligament is nothing but our joint okay so this ligament is holding these two uh, two things together root of teeth and the socket of the alveolar process okay and this ligament is very important to hold these two things together and they are allowing very slight movement okay why because whenever we are eating something okay and that time teeth are also doing their functions so that time there is a little movement occurs and that movement uh, will cause some kind of friction okay and that friction absorption or we can call it as a shock absorption are done by these uh, periodontal ligaments okay and that type of uh, movement is also very slight so that's why they comes under the slightly moving uh, joints next one is yes ekta sir could you please explain the tibia fibula one again okay this one yes you can see here this joint is here right okay. that joint are holding these two tibia and fibula together right and that yeah. comes under the class of the fibrous joint right because they are also having the connective tissue more number of collagen fibers are there and they are matlab uh, they are attaching two bones but that are not too close to each other okay and they are allowing limited movement okay sir. bundles are present that are called as a ligaments okay, okay. so next one uh, we will talk about this is about the gomphosis and next type of fibrous is uh, fibrous joint is called as a intraosseous membrane okay so you are able to see intraosseous membrane that intraosseous membrane is also fibrous type okay they are also made up of the irregular connective tissue they are also binding the bones but long bones they are binding with each other okay and these long bones are also able to move but slight movement only possible okay not too much movement very slight movement are there uh, so they also come under that class which is called as the amphitrosis okay and here you can see the same kind of a joint you are able to see in the radius and ulna which are in the forearm and this is a tibia and fibula which is a part of the legs okay and what is the role of this they are connecting these two bones together okay means two long bone together as well as uh, they are playing like they are allowing only little bit motion uh, to this particular like while we are moving the hands uh, we are rotating our hands so at that time it is little bit get moved okay so that is what they are providing so next type of the joint is a cartilaginous joint so you can see cartilaginous joint same kind of things little or no movement okay but there are two types of cartilage we can able to see here either hyaline cartilage or the fibro 
cartilage. Okay, so they are keeping the bone tightly connected. That is what the role of this cartilage in a joint. So again, three types are there. We are going to talk about these three types: synchondriasis, symphysis, and epiphysis. Okay, so you can see here synchondriasis, right? So these are also cartilage in your joint where you can able to see here uh, in between the uh, sternum and the ribs. Okay, especially the head part of the sternum, which is called as a manubrium. Okay, that connected with the ribs. So because of this uh, this kind of uh, joint, and these mostly consist of the hyaline cartilage. Okay, as we know, cartilage which is smooth in appearance. and these are connecting these two things together even you can able to see the uh, this part okay we'll going to talk about that next slide yeah so that is next slide is symphysis okay in that symphysis you can able to see that is also slightly movement movable joint and here you can able to see both the things are there one is hyaline cartilage i will show you that just a second yeah hyaline cartilage as well as you will able to see the fibro cartilage present over here right so where exactly the hyaline cartilage present hyaline cartilage present at the end of the bone okay you can able to see here okay so this one end of the bone is both the end of the bone are having the covering of the hyaline cartilage but they are joined together by the fibro cartilage okay remember the things what are there so they are having smooth surface at the end okay but this hyaline cartilage in between that two hyaline cartilage there is a fibro cartilage okay that fibro cartilage are connecting two things together so where we can able to see like you can see here in the pubic symphysis right so they are holding these two bones together which are called as a hip bones you can see that is also present in the uh, vertebra okay all these vertebra having this kind of joint in between so because of that there is a slight movement of the vertebra is possible and you can see that is also present in the sternum okay the head portion and the body portion that are connected via this particular a uh, same symphysis okay that sternal angle you are able to see in that particular portion you will able to find the same kind of joint symphysis okay so that is about the symphysis next one we'll going to talk about the epiphyseal cartilage okay this epiphyseal cartilage actually is a not a uh, type of this cartilaginous joint but uh, these are all these this class because like they are having the hyaline cartilage growth center over there like you can see two bones are joined together by this epiphyseal plate and these epiphyseal plates are very important for our growth they are present in the long bones as we know our height get increase as our age will get increase right up to certain extent like after up to certain age our height will get height will uh, grow right so because of this hypophyseal plate okay these hypophyseal plates uh, are able to increase their size okay means they are uh, able to open their plates because these are the plates and these plates get open and that opening of the plate will cause the uh, increase in the size of the bone all over the body like especially they are present in the long bones and we are talking here about the joint so these epiphyseal uh, things are also having the uh, hyaline cartilage growth center okay here in between this you can see blue color is there okay and they are not actually considered as a cartilage joint but uh, they are classified into this class they are immovable joint okay and as the bone uh, increases they get replaced okay this hyaline cartilages get replaced again by the bones means that are present only in the childhood jab tak hamara age bad raha hai tab tak ye wala cartilage wahan pe present hota hai but later on that again get converted into the bone and that process is called as a synostosis we already learned about the synostosis synostosis is nothing but cartilage get converted into the or we can call as a connective material get converted into the bone that process is called as a synostosis okay so that is all about the cartilage